Hello everybody, what is up? Michael back here with another video. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a review on my uh, XPR 7550E. Uh, I initially had a 7550, but I ran into issues with that and it just, uh, let's just say it completely died on me and I ended up having to go out and get a 7550. So, or 7550E. Uh, picked this up for about 400 bucks US on eBay. 8 out of 10 condition. It actually is in better condition than that. I'd say more 9 out of 10. Um, even 10 out of 10. There's a very, very small... You can't even... I can't even pick it up on the camera here. Um, Nick on the screen. The screen's in perfect condition. The keypad's in perfect condition. Everything is in perfect mint condition uh the antenna that came with it is the stubby antenna this is the uh, steel whip antenna so i'm just kind of go gonna go over some features and hopefully this video won't be too long but if it is i do apologize so this radio uh does analog conventional dmr conventional connect plus Capacity plus single site and capacity plus multi site, so that's link capacity plus. Holds a thousand channels, has a GPS capability and Wi Fi, I believe, and Wi Fi, and I think Bluetooth 4.0. I'm pretty sure it's 4.0 or 5.0, I can't remember. Um, there has been some talk that this radio holds a thousand channels or a thousand contacts. I'm not sure which one it is. If someone can let me know in the comments, that would be much appreciated. Um, all in all, I've had this only for less than 24 hours, but the 7550 is amazing. The E's, just the enhanced model, of course, and you got that uh, specific white little accent around the PTT. Uh, the radio has five programmable buttons. Two front and three side. This is my zone. Privacy on and off, uh, mic, microphone, audio gain control, and then scan, or sorry, this is uh, acoustic feedback, audio gain control, and then scan. Uh, I'm not sure of how many zones it holds. I would say that would be dependent on, um, I would say that would be dependent on um, the uh, amount of channels you need or have. Um, Right now I only have about uh, 12 zones in here, uh, plus the channel pool, um, which technically doesn't count in my opinion, but uh, others will beg to differ. Uh, this model is UHF uh, 403 to 512, and it, what was I going to say, it um, is also capable of an option board so you can expand uh, into LTR passport or um, LTR trunking. I don't really have any of that around here. That's UHF, so uh, it's really no go for me. Um, you can hold more than 16 channels in one zone and this is kind of one of the only one of the only couple cons I have with the radio is if you are on channel 4 and you accidentally move into the next zone, it's gonna automatically go to that channel and that zone that's on channel four. But if you channel have, a, analog one. have one, yes, also has uh, customizable speech to text, which I have, uh, that is included on the 7550E, not the regular 7550. The 7550E also ships with capacity plus, link capacity plus, enhanced privacy and enhanced noise suppressor, if you want apex quality noise cancellation, it's certainly the way to go. And only even, even if you're looking to upgrade a 7550 to it, uh, to that EID, it's only about uh, three or four dollars. It's pretty cheap. Um, yeah. Anyway, so the only thing I really don't like about this um, channel knob is uh, it is continuous, so you can hold more than 16 channels. You can only scan up to 15, which is, kind of defeats the purpose. Um, what you do is, if you're in channel 1, 
So let's say channel digital one. I scroll to channel four and I scroll all the way back around. Channel digital You end up it's not of course it's not working when I do the video. Great. Um channel there we go. I've lost my place now. So now I have to scroll all the way back to get to channel four. There's probably an option somewhere in the CPS for that uh, to for it not to do that. If someone can let me know, that'd be great uh, in the comments. So again, now we're still on channel five. We want to be on that slot on channel four. And anyway. Channel analog two. Enough said. All in all, great radio performs extremely well, um, both on digital and analog. Very loud speaker. Uh, the noise canceling is crystal clear, and the ability to do, uh, of course, text messages, quick text. That's a, another great feature. Uh, and of course, you have all your with your display radios uh, ability to private call and uh, remote enable, remote disable, all that kind of stuff. Uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. Um, if I do do any of follow-up videos on this, it'll probably be related to an RSM or CPS. Uh, again, I do apologize. This video was quite late uh, coming out. So anyway... I will be doing a follow-up uh, video on uh, another product I reviewed uh, down the road, uh, the Logitech uh, G413 keyboard with the Romer G switches, uh, hopefully in the next few weeks, once I get a little bit more comfortable with it, and then I'll do a full review. Anyway, hope everyone's doing well during this uh, pandemic, and uh, stay safe and stay well, and we'll catch you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.